guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I really wanted to get in and declutter and clean my bathroom. So I thought I would film it and share it with you for some like cleaning and decluttering inspiration. I really enjoy these kinds of videos and they're fun to make as well. And I have so many bathroom products. I don't know how I end up with such a collection of bathroom products, but it was time to get in and throw some of them out. So I've decluttered, shared with you all the products that I do and don't use and gave my bathroom a good clean. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to my bathroom. So a couple of weeks ago, I actually went around and took out most of the products that were around my bath. I I have a really bad habit of collecting bath products. I don't know how it happens. I just, I have so many. So they are currently in this bag and I need to declutter and go through this bag. Also my bath mat, if you're wondering, is from Adairs. I got it like a couple of years ago, but you know that feeling when you have like fresh bath mats or fresh towels or fresh bed sheets? Yeah, love that feeling. Anyway, so the products that I still have around my bath are definite keepers and I have my Body Shop bath milk. I also have this ice cream non-yellow purple shampoo that I got at, I have actually no idea where I got it, but it was while I was in Canada. I don't think you can get it here in Australia. I also have my Body Shop almond milk and honey like bath milk. And then this is the QV intensive moisturizing cleanser. I love the QV cleansers, so um, uh, this is a repurchase and I'll probably repurchase this one again. And then over in this corner, I have one of these like sticky shelf things that you can get from Kmart for like $5, but I mean, it's $5. So that's why every now and then it kind of falls down or at least half falls down. So I do need to just fix that back up. It'll only take two seconds. And I think I'm gonna get rid of some of the products up in there as well. So. That's gonna be the first project is getting through all of these products. These two little Kevin Murphy bottles that I got as a sample in like a fashion week show bag kind of thing. I'm keeping these because these are my travel size shampoo containers. I think they're really good size and they just work really well for traveling. So this is gonna be the keep pile. We're gonna get rid of the throw pile. I have this Aromas with Argan Oil Smooth Shampoo. Um, this is like a salon shampoo, so I'm going to keep that one. Um, also from a salon is the Silver Screen Ice Blonde um, Purple Conditioner. So that's the only purple conditioner I have, but I have two purple shampoos plus the one that is on the bath, and I have no idea why I have so many. This one is basically empty, like the bottles not even like round anymore. So that's gonna get thrown out. This Kevin Murphy one, it's okay. Like I really like Kevin Murphy products, but I don't think the purple shampoo is worth it. This Kevin Murphy product though, which is the Restore is worth it. It is so expensive, but it is such a good product. There is a teeny tiny bit of this left. So I'm gonna put that to the front of all of my products and use that in the next week. I'm gonna keep the purple shampoo and just try and get through it. Then I have this product here, which is empty. This is the Joyco K-Pack shampoo um, for, to repair damage. It was okay. I can't say I liked it. There is the little wall attachment for my razor. So we'll keep that. Um, this is my Lush Chris Tingle body conditioner. This is so good as well. It's like um, minty fresh and you put it all over your body and it moisturizes you, but it also gives you this like, fresh feeling. So now that we're going back into summer, I'm going to finish that off. Um, I have a teeny sample of the um, Malin or Marlin and, oh my goodness, I don't even know how to say it. This is the cilantro hair conditioner. I don't know if I should keep this or not. It's a sample. Do I take it? I guess I could use it for traveling because it's so little. I don't know what to do with that. Um, here is the other half of the attachment to the wall thing. And then pretty much everything else. This is an empty, um, I don't know why I have so many empty products, but this is an empty, um, what do you call this, cleanser. This is the Skin Institute um, Lactic Cleanser and it exfoliates, hydrates and refines. This is my favorite cleanser and I have been using this for quite a while. I've had this, I've repurchased this one three times. So I do really like this one. Um, I also have an Argan body conditioner, which is the same as the Chris Dingle one. It's just a different scent. 
and there is the teeniest little bit left so I think that one's going to have to get used in the next week or so and then I just have so many shampoo and conditioners I have this husk Greek yogurt shampoo and conditioner and the shampoo has like the middle section which is filled with a yogurty kind of um, product and then the outside section is filled with this purple gel and one time the purple gel leaked out but the yogurt part didn't so the purple gel is going to run out way before the rest of the actual shampoo and I don't know if it's going to shampoo just with the middle part. I also have a Pantene set here as well. This is the Smooth and Sleek shampoo and conditioner. The conditioner feels almost empty. And then I also have the John Frieda Sheer Blonde um, Ultra Illuminating Shampoo and Conditioner. So I don't really know what to do with these three products. There's so many shampoos and conditioners. And what do I currently have in the shower? I actually don't have any. So I might put the Pantene ones back in there because they're almost finished. And then these might just be able to go into my cupboard and then I won't have to worry about it. My shower has one of those um, handle things where you pull it out, the shower water comes out from the top and then if you push it in, the water comes out of the tap and it moves on its own. So when I pulled it out at one point, I ended up getting water all over my back and so now my jeans are all wet, but it's all right. I'm just gonna keep going. I cannot be bothered to get changed. I'm just gonna throw this one out because I can't find the other half to it. I have no idea where it's gone. Maybe I already threw it out. I have no idea, but I'm gonna throw this out and just get another one because like I said, they're only $5 and this one's starting to get a bit rusty anyway. So I'm just gonna get a new one. I've also decided to throw out these two products. I have had them forever and I don't use them and I don't think they're that great. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. I also found the Lush Rose Jam Body like wash, which I actually really like. This is my favorite thing to remove my fake tan with. So I am going to keep this. I just haven't been tanning for a while, so I haven't used it. But again, it's coming up to the warmer weather in which I will be tanning again. So I will use this. Up here, I have a few things that I've managed to just accumulate. So they all need to be put away and taken down. And then I'm going to give it a good clean. First up in this corner, I have a Frank body scrub and I really like the Frank body scrub, but I have had this up here for a while, so I don't know if it's any good. I'll have to look into it. I also have a Lush, um, it's like a body shimmer and I've never used it, so I'm actually just going to get rid of it. I do have a spare hand wash, um, which I am going to keep. I'm going to put that under the sink in the kitchen and save it um, because I have a different one. I also have this um, soy candle from Dusk. You know what? I should totally light that now while we're here. I have a couple of products from Lush. And to be honest, I think this one had an expiration date, so I need to get rid of that. And I don't know. I've never used this. I'm going to get rid of both of them. I also have a shaving cream that is empty, so that's going in the bin. I also have this makeup brush um, drying rack, which I just need to pack away and put away. So uh, I'm going to deal with this corner first. I managed to get entirely sidetracked magic erasering my walls, but seriously, I feel like it's made this part of the wall so, so clean. These things are great. I have a couple little random things just sitting up here. I'm gonna leave my toothbrushes and my toothpaste in the hand wash, but the brush washer, the brush cleaner, and a few other little bits and pieces are gonna go.
So I'm pretty much done. This bucket is actually for my dirty washing and it lives in the laundry and I've pretty much put everything back together. I do just need to get another one of those little things to stick in the corner here. You can see like the plastic parts that the um, suction cap to. I've got my little candle up here. It's all clean. Um, the only thing that I'm really going to be super embarrassed to show you and I'm leaving for another day and if you would like it as a video is my cupboard. It is so messy and I'm so embarrassed to even show you this. Although all of these containers are from Kmart for $5 each and I think I need to get some more to keep organizing this but if you guys would like to see a declutter and an organization of my bathroom cupboard I'm gonna do that in a different video because that is just oh my gosh it's a nightmare and it's really embarrassing so yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave it and I've finished the bathroom. So that is my bathroom decluttering and cleaning video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Down the bottom here, you can check out my last cleaning and decluttering video. And up the top here, you can check out my last video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.